the Big Easy well represented. Hi and welcome to the Daily Sports Update presented to you by Toyota. I'm Amber Wilson for CBSSports.com. The 2008 NBA All-Star Reserves were announced on Thursday night, completing the two rosters that will take the floor in New Orleans on February 17th. A couple of usual names were left out of the equation, including Shaq, who's been selected 14 straight times from his rookie year on. Darren Williams, Baron Davis, Tony Parker, Manny Ginobili, and Ray Allen, they're all having good seasons, but they'll be watching this time around. Here's your Western Conference roster, which includes two first-time All-Stars from the host in New Orleans, David West and Chris Paul. Paul is averaging over 20 points and 10 assists per game for the upstart Hornets. The Phoenix Suns will also send two of their own, Steve Nash and Amari Stoudemire. Carlos Boozer, reigning league MVP Dirk Nowitzki, and 2007 Rookie of the Year Brandon Roy also made the cut. The East has two teams with a pair of all-star reserves as well. Detroit will send Chauncey Billups and Rip Hamilton, while the Wizards are playing solid basketball without the injured Gilbert Arenas and will send Karan Butler and Antoine Jamison. Teammate Paul Pierce will join all-star starter Kevin Garnett on the roster, while Joe Johnson makes his second all-star appearance as an Atlanta Hawk. And while the homemade YouTube commercials didn't pay off for Toronto's Chris Bosch as far as getting a starting nod, the coaches honored the Raptors forward with a reserve selection. The All-Star break isn't for another couple weeks, so we still have some basketball left. And last night featured three showdowns, starting with the Lakers and the Pistons from the Palace at Auburn Hills. 39 points from Kobe and 15 from Derek Fisher were not enough for the Lakers as they watched Tayshawn Prince knock down a three-pointer with just 4.4 seconds left for a one-point victory. Prince had a team-high 22 for the Pistons, who won their fourth stray game. LA has dropped four of five. On to the hardwood in Boston, where Dirk Nowitzki put up 31 and 11 for the Mavs, while Ray Allen and Paul Pierce each had 26 for the Celtics. But it was Rajon Rondo who scored the game winner for Boston while tied at 90. The rookie grabbed a Paul Pierce miss and put in a reverse layup to give the Celtics the lead for good with under a minute to go. Boston dropped the 31-14 Mavs without the services of Kevin Garnett for the third straight game. And we can't talk yesterday's hoops action without mentioning the Spurs finally winning their first game on the rodeo road trip dropping the Western Conference's top team at that. San Antonio snapped a three-game losing streak behind 19 points from Manny Ginobili and 16 points from Tim Duncan. After a Duncan jumper and two free throws from Ginobili, Amari Stoudemire missed a game-tying foul shot with 8.7 seconds to go. Ginobili would tack on two more to make it 84-81. Now let's take a look at your news and notes. The Cal Golden Bears went into Pullman and stunned the ninth-ranked Washington State Cougars 69-64 behind sophomore forward Ryan Anderson's 27 points and nine rebounds. Alexander Ovechkin broke his nose, needed stitches in his lip after getting hit with a puck and still managed to score four goals, including the game winner with one minute and 26 seconds left in OT to lift the Capitals over the Canadians 5-4. In a press conference yesterday by the NFL's Player Association, Executive Director Gene Upshaw announced the NFL players will consent to urine testing for human growth hormone once a test is developed. Of course, scientists are currently closer to developing a blood test for HGH, which Upshaw takes issue with. Also, Upshaw announced he expects team owners to opt out of the current agreement between, that stands between them and the NFLPA later this year with claims that smaller franchises aren't profiting. If so, it's expected the players' union may opt for a strike. And, of course, we prepare to embark on a very, very big weekend in sports, and I clearly can't end this update without a mention. So remember, for all of your Super Bowl 42 news, be sure to check out our Comcast countdown to kickoff series. We've got interviews with NFL legends and analysis from your favorite CBS Sports personalities, aside from me, of course. So you better keep your mouths right here at CBSSports.com. That'll do it for the Daily Sports Update presented to you by Toyota. Stop, refresh, and rewatch if you missed anything today. And this Sunday, guys, eat way too much, crack open a cold one, and enjoy every second of that game. I'm Amber Wilson.